Hello everybody. I hope you just enjoy the video. And uh, tell me what you think in the comments. I'm going to get uh, the spring and knuckle put on this side. And then we'll start on the other side. Sorry about the lighting. This uh, shadows and stuff messing with showing us this. But uh, I've got the spring in. Now that's not a uh, 67 big block spring. That is a 70 307 Malibu spring. Because it's what I had out. But, even with the big block in the front of this car, you know, the rest of it's empty, I have to chain the frame rail down to the bed of the truck to jack it up enough to put the nuts on the control arms. So they're pretty stiff. I'm supposed to be getting a set of shocks off a friend of mine. He's taken out of his car. So... For now, they'll stay in there. Oh, and if you've ever used a jack, a sledgehammer, an old screw jack, and a pry bar to get a spring in, then you know about the struggle. But uh, now, I'm going to go over to the other side and... Uh, start taking it apart I got these changed went quite a bit better than the other side or I'll show you here in a few I'll get that spring up in it and this knuckle on then we'll do something about the steering box I still have to get that off that other car Both uh, spindles and springs and everything are on. Went and got a uh, used pair of front shocks. So shocks are in it, springs are in it, uh, lower control arms are in it, tight everything. Uh, I'm going to try to get a manual steer, steering box off of the Malibu that's up there. Took the steering box off of that car I, I cut the back frame section out of and the wheel wells and stuff in Malibu. And uh, it feels great. It's barely loose. And it turns great. This is, uh, that's been out in the weather since at least 74, 74, 75. But all the bolts turned. So I'm putting manual steering back on the car because the car originally had manual steering. Dad got it and got it for his ex wife. Uh, he put power steering on it, but I don't. I don't want power steering. I wanted manual steering. I've got it stuck on there. I ran into this on the 70. Power steering and uh, manual steering has two different splines. Uh, but what I'm talking about is this: the rag joint. There are two different sizes. This is the one for that box and it's smaller it's smaller than this one is so you can just do this on this one so I'm gonna have to get a I'm either gonna have to take this rag joint apart and try to get this one apart which I kind of think is a uh, Losing proposition, but I might try it. They're a new one's still like 20 bucks. But 
if I can get them both apart, then I'll take the one for that box and put it on that rubber. If not, then I'm just going to have to buy one. But that box seems fine. The steering's all hooked up. I've got, I've got the nut started on drag link. But the next thing I'm going to do is get underneath it, put the drive shaft in it, and uh, exhaust and stuff like that so I can let the car completely down. And brake lines, front brake lines, hook all that stuff up. I'm gonna try and get uh, this drive shaft cleaned up enough to use. Down there, I don't really have to do anything to it except uh, maybe try to grease the U-joint. Now, I'm not saying I won't go back and put new U-joint joints in these later if i can't get them to grease i know they'll go out eventually because while they're not notchy they're very very stiff so if i can't get it to grease it'll burn itself out fairly quick but i'm going to soak the inside of that with oil. Get a very small wire brush and a screwdriver. And I'm gonna clean out the splines the best I can. Clean it up the best I can. May even end up running something like a brake hone or something through it with sandpaper on it. I've got one that don't have any stones on it. So I can just wrap it with sandpaper and get it in there and sand it. Then I'll sand the outside of it down with some emery, emery cloth wrapped around it. Good chance that's bent. You know, very, very good chance that that drive shaft's bent. I didn't get the showings that good enough. Uh, when that was attached to that rear end and it was under the 67, it hit the tree on that tube and jerked the drive shaft out of the transmission but it then shoved back forward some and the yoke was between the transmission and the cross member it shoved through the, the transmission mount i also have one of those So tomorrow, I'm going to get under there. I want to try my best to get that drive shaft in it and uh, transmission mount and stuff like that. We'll see what I'll get, I'll get done. For uh, a couple days, I'm going to have to stop messing with it because it's going to rain after tomorrow and my father wants to try to finish a roof that he's building over there so I'm going to help him with that tomorrow so uh, Sunday maybe Monday I can uh, get back on this but uh, I put the I stuck the front end back on it and uh, actually did a half attempt at trying to get the fenders and stuff straight this time and uh, to me I don't you know I don't have a hood a set of hood hinges so don't don't mind that but to me the I don't know if you can see it on camera but the gaps and stuff are decent the uh, you know, I have to fine tune in and out on that, but apparently straight on that side. This gap's decent too, you know, keeping in mind I have to shim it and put bolts in it and stuff. 
the only thing I shimmed, I put it, the top bolt in it and shimmed it even to the cowl on both sides. There's some fine tuning going to have to go on, but I think it's going to fit together pretty good. You know, things take longer than you think they should sometimes, and there's nothing really to be done about that. I have to clean up this yoke, or possibly put another one I've got on it. I have a I have a better yoke I could use if I have to. I also have, as far as that goes, I have another drive shaft. So, and uh, I did get to start taking the hangers off the back of the exhaust. So, in the next uh, video. I'm going to try to get the exhaust, the drive shaft, and front brake lines, uh, proportioning valves, stuff like that. I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, sticking with me on this project. And I'll see you next time. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more.